Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for iPad Today is provided by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Coming up, it's almost tax time. Do you know where your return is? We've got some apps to help you out. Plus, iPad 2's popping up in South by Southwest. Flipboard has some competition and the best 50 photos ever. All that and a shamanistic ritual celebration. Woo-hoo! Audio on Yay. iPad Today. Yay! iPad Today is brought to you by Squarespace.com, the fast and easy way to publish a high-quality website or blog. For a free 14-day trial, go to Squarespace.com slash iPad Today. It's iPad Today. Time Sarah Lane, Leo Laporte here with a shamanistic ritual meditation. Almost. That's a little later in the show. Oh. Well, we it, could... it really is going to be one, though. Oh, well, can I participate? Yes. Do I have to kill a chicken? No. Okay. No. I like chicken. Uh, I like Looking at chickens. <laughs> you like chickens. I would like to have a chicken coop in my backyard. You know how that's the new rage in the urban my atmosphere wife has people been have dying. chicken coops? And you know what's interesting? My wife wants one. Here in Petaluma, it's written into city law, the city ordinance. They cannot stop you from having up to six chickens. Is it because this is like egg capital yeah, of California it used to be a chicken type area, of thing? And some some chicken farmer wrote that in the law. Well, why would any city stop you from having six chickens? Well is it illegal other places? Yes. Why? A farm animal. So? Well, you know, if your neighbors had cocks in the yard next door you would probably well the, like the roosters can be a real issue yeah. uh well, i grew up don't on you have farms. to have roosters if you have chickens well if you want baby chickens but not if you plus just chickens kind of smell they can chicken poop but fresh eggs gotta love it i love them oh they're delightful that's the old woody allen joke guy goes into a doctor says my wife thinks she's a chicken what? the doctor says well just tell her to stop he says i can't we need the eggs so weird. But a boom. I don't even know. Symbol. <laughs> so uh, we have a, a topic that's guaranteed to amaze, thrill, and amuse you. <laughs> it's a topic that makes most people run for the hills. Yeah. In fact, uh, because, why did we pick this? Because it's topical, Leo. <laughs> and what we're talking about, of course, is taxes, which, of course, in the U.S. of A. Is pronounced uh, Texas. Is pronounced Texas. So they're the same thing. Don't mess with taxes. You have to pay. Yeah. Uh, and it, taxes is an, uh, are annoying, first of all, because they ruin April. Uh, second of all, because... You, <laughs> <laughs> you think T.S. Eliot, meant, that's what he meant when he said April is the cruelest month. He was thinking about it, the uh, income Probably. tax. Probably, yeah. yes, yeah, death and taxes. Mm-hmm. And also because you pay all year, and then at the end of the year, there has to be this grand adjustment... No one really understands, and sometimes you owe, and sometimes you get stuff back, and it's just a mess. Oh, it's horrible. It's, it's a Nobody horrible likes experience. It. Could your iPad, could it possibly help you with this horror? It, it could, and I think that, so this is, uh, this is our app theme today. If you haven't already guessed, it's tax time apps. <laughs> Woo! No, 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 but, but before you say, oh, taxes, that's the last thing I want to hear about. This is actually stuff that might help you out. I think it's mostly, um, we'll start off with TurboTax, by the way. This is TurboTax 2010. And it says 2010, but keep in mind that you, you're always Can you move doing... your Sambuca? Oh, yeah. My kombucha. <laughs> kombucha? Yeah. I'm sorry. There is a difference Not between Sambuca and kombucha. Yeah. Uh, so this is from closed. Intuit. This is the... this. Well, you've seen this on PCs, uh, Macs. Um, now you could do your taxes on your iPad? Here, Are you uh, me? Uh, go away from me while I put my... Uh, oh, you have on. an account? I do. Well, I just started one. I mean, I'm not going to, like, go through all my stuff with you guys because this that would is, be super this is boring. This free, which is nice. This is free. But it would have the to be for a is, simple, easy form, right? The, the app is free. It, you can go beyond easy. You can tur- This TurboTax iPad app is pretty much the same experience as the web experience. And you can go back and forth, which is nice. So they kind of sync with each other. If you start here, That's and you nice. want to end you up on your on desktop. You can work on both You can. Uh, however, to file is not free because that's how TurboTax makes their money. So okay. yeah, your that's app fair. is free. It's just like the website. They'll that's get fair. you in the end. Yeah. So, but it's but it's really no different. One of the things uh, that TurboTax won't do from the iPad is import your previous year's return, and that's very helpful for people who use TurboTax year after year. The ability to import your social, appear- your previous income, exactly. your refunds that actually ends up on the new form. Yeah, I mean, it can really speed up the process. So that's something to keep into consideration if you like TurboTax the way that you've been using it for the last couple of years. This app is new, 
or it's new for the iPad anyway. So it has, it, you know, it has ways to go. But it's it's the it's the standard stuff. You know, you, you start with your marital status. If you own any real estate, you can do federal and state. Um, I've been using Tur- I use TurboTax every year until last year when I ended up doing some freelance work. And I owed a lot of money. Oh, Schedule C will kill you every time. And I ended up having somebody do my taxes for me. And she, I don't know, worked some magic. And I ended up owing a lot less. So I really think that Turbo, the folks who use TurboTax know that it's the right thing for them. Right. If you have a lot of itemized um, or a lot of, you know, you do a lot of contract work, it's not necessarily the right thing for you. But it is everything that you want it to be. You know, you enter in your W-2s. You have your deductions. You know, you uh, you know, if you have dependents, uh, special tax situations, and what's nice is that you can go through the whole thing, and just get an idea of what you'll either owe or get back before you even pay to file. Right. So you can get an idea of like, I'm only getting back five hundred. Uh, uh-uh, I don't want to do this. Maybe I want to hire somebody else. So it's informative, even if it's not actually the right solution for you. And again, the app is free, and it looks really good. It's um, you know, for a tax app. I mean, there's not a lot of bells and whistles. It's not beautiful, but it looks good, and uh, that's that's pretty much it. I mean, three again, ways you know you're a grown up. What are those? You you own your own washing machine, so you don't go to laundromat. Well, I I, I rent, but there is a washing machine. There's at a my washing home. machine involved. Yes. That's all. Okay. You no longer so move yourself or get your friends over for pizza. Not and beer. an adult. You hire a mover. Not an. Well, adult. you were moving downhill, so it was easy. Then I had to go up three flights of stairs, though. It was the <laughs> oh, worst weekend of my life. I'm so glad I didn't come over. Oh, my gosh. Okay, and the third way is if you stop doing your own freaking taxes. Well, now, some people are good with numbers, so mm-hmm. it doesn't mean you're not a oh, grown-up. Yeah. If you're an enrolled agent, you could do your own taxes. Our CEO, Lisa, I'm sure does I bet she taxes. doesn't. I bet she doesn't. I think really? anybody who's got any brains... Lisa, do you do your own taxes? I bet if... if no. Nope. She doesn't do her own And taxes. she's an enrolled agent. Right. She is an EA. Oh, she, she knows right. how. I stand corrected. Uh, it's worth... Usually... It's worth the money. In other words, it saves you more than it costs you. Uh, That's my advice. But if you want to be a cheapskate, that well, no, that was my advice uh, to I, everybody. We're you in know, agreement. last year, we're in agreement. Now, I here's started one. with TurboTax. Here's a, here's a program that is, doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles, but it's informative. So I think I think that's kind of cool. It, it's called uh, 2010 Tax Reference. Remember, we're doing it for the year 2010, last year. Yes. So there's information in the personal section about estate taxes. <laughs> Maybe not, not a lot of information, but here's, here. wait a minute. This thing sucks. What? That <laughs> what looks like this? some weird Google doc. Okay, never mind. Spreadsheet. <laughs> never mind, I got suckered. Oh, Leo. You can, you can really get, forget it, don't get that one. You know, I give him homework and he says he does it. I thought I, I well, you know, I did, here's what I did. I clicked this button. I said, oh, look, it's got all of these things. So, Isn't no, this, that great? This looks like something so that you know. Hey, it's free, okay? Well, but but this is not how to do your taxes. This is information. It's information, and I thought that people might want that. You didn't even know what it was. <laughs> it but said, people might want this now that we know. It said taxes. Now that we know. <laughs> It's, it's free and what's it called? Never mind. <laughs> well, let's you know, move on to I something did a that will help, help and, you. And there were only like, there you, weren't many. This is a very good lesson to be learned. Everyone, yeah. searching in the app store does not always uh, lend itself to the best results. Because I did the same thing and it was a bunch of junk. Yeah, there's a, and that's why you watch this show so that Leo can show you what the junk what is. What not to do. Don't he, buy this program. He downloads so you don't have to. told you nothing. To. Actually, it's got some facts, no, it's, but you could have gotten there. stuff that. in there. You could have gotten there. It just that. seems a little, a little thin. It's sparse. It's also propagating still, so maybe we just have a slow connection and there's more to it. Oh, you think there's more in there? Well, there's more in there. You're being very the... generous. Thank you. It's, it's nothing. Well, I have something. If you'd Please. like to see something. Would you give is, us something? This is called Page Once, and it is... Uh, in my opinion, mm. very much like mint.com. So However, to keep track of your stuff. Yeah, to keep track of your stuff so that come tax time, you have a really good idea of what kind of money you have and what's going in and out and you have over the last year. One of the so things. It's like a little I've ledger about, on your iPad. I think that's a good idea. Well, it's not. Yeah, yeah it's, it's that. It's you, you could. Um, you could add in all of your 401ks. I'm looking at travel rewards right now. Any banks that you're using, credit cards, you know, they, they, they know all the big ones, but you have an opportunity to enter in uh, a new credit card if it's some obscure credit card company that no one's ever heard of. I have one of those. Your investments, like I said, uh, car insurance, loans that you may have taken out. So you get an idea that um, with Page Once, it, it, it will it will it will take all of your money in and figure out 
you know, it's not so much. Okay, so I've talked about mint on the past on the show a bunch of times, and I'm starting to not like mint that much because not only is it not optimized for iPad, but, and you can, again, enter things manually. If you want to pay bills, you can do this all through page once as well. Not only is mint not optimized for the iPad, but it has really missed the boat on some of my 401k companies from previous employers. My Revision 3 employer, they have no idea how to get that information. So it's not even giving me an accurate um, sense of, of what I'm making or losing each month from the money that's still sitting in there. You know why you might want to keep track of this, though? If somebody's embezzling. Or that, <laughs> yeah. Or you know. You laugh. But at Tech TV, we had a bookkeeper Actually, who was embezzling. You're right. And you know how she went to jail. She went to jail. And you know how they found out about it? Somebody was keeping track. Uh, I wasn't. No, I wasn't either. I wasn't affected. Though. I was. I wasn't. You were? I lost thousands of dollars to this woman, and thank God somebody else was doing exactly this. So do uh, pay attention to these things. Travel rewards. Page once. Well, this is this is a good one. Now, I use primarily United Airlines because I like to get free flights every once in a while. But if you're somebody who travels regularly and books you know, and works booking your travel, you might need somebody else to pay a little bit more attention to where you might be getting rewards programs. You might be able to upgrade and this and that. So what's cool about Page Once in, uh, when it refers to taxes is that they have partnered with H&R Block. So if you're one of those people who uses H&R Block to do your taxes, try Page Once out because... As you can see, I haven't set it up. Again, these are sort of hard to show you without showing you yeah, our you personal wanna, financial yeah, information. Yeah, yeah. But there's a tax center tab. So if I would have actually linked up my account with H&R Block, I can then go to my tax center and it's giving me all the information. It's not anything that you wouldn't get from H&R Block anyway, but if you are an H&R Block customer or thinking of becoming one, then page once is a good way to keep track of your tax return, what you're getting back, what, you know, what your W2 information, all that good stuff. Plus all of your financial information from everything else that's going in and out every month, the rest of the year. Page once is also free. And again, it's not, it doesn't work exactly the same as Mint.com, but it's similar. It looks better. Well, the nice better. thing about Mint is it's you don't have to enter any data. It gets, just gets it from your bank account. It gets it. Well, Page so, Once will do that, too. I mean, oh, you're really? linking oh, it up it'll in the same enter way. All, it, all the stuff in I mean, you have to account? enter it in manually once, oh, but, but you have to that, do that with oh, Mint that's as cool. well. I like it. What Mint does, it, Mint has a lot more of like the... It's the interactive, hey, your monthly budget is 350 right. for right. gas and you've gone over. So it there's I'll have more, to try this. There's more, yeah, this I'm is more of just, of it's numbers. Yeah. Going in and out. Mint is, I'm waiting for it to be better experience on the iPad. So page once is something to look into. I got another crappy app you probably don't want. Okay. And this is all uh, all around taxes. Uh, okay. The same thing. <laughs> you the know, same? you just got to look, look on the bright side. What's that? The sun's coming out. Yeah. This might be a good app. It's kind of a review of of apps you don't want in this case from Leo. Uh, well, you might want this actually. This is called My Tax Refund. Okay. Now, if you use TurboTax yes. or you have a refund coming, you can use this. It's from the same folks. It's from Intuit. The, you can use Who this app to find out what the status of your tax refund is. Oh, nice. It's a free app. Yeah. It doesn't do much. You'll give it your filing status, you know, your social security number, the exact amount. And that's how they know it's you. And then we'll, we'll get, we'll access the IRS database and say your refund is on its way or whatever. So this is, this is a it's very simple app. Does very little, really probably hardly worth the time to download it. But, it, <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know why? What? If you really are depending on getting the refund back nice that you're expecting, know. the official IRS website will also give you this information, sure. but it's usually delayed by like 72 hours. Oh. Well. So this will, I mean, if you need to know the information right. and you need to make sure you can pay your bookie, right. <laughs> then uh, then my tax refund might be a really good solution and then, for your connection. Here's the beauty of it. Your dealer. Once you get your check, you just delete the darn thing entirely. It's gone. In fact, I'm going to delete that one. In fact, I'm going to delete all of them because I don't even want to think about tax time till April 16th, 2012. Well, that... And after that, the Mayan... End that, of the world, so. Yeah, you you might you might be wanted by the government if you wait till April sixteenth, twenty twelve. But you know what? I like paying taxes. Do you? Yes. Oh, then none of these are helpful at all. No, you just pay, I, pay, I pay. just write a big check and a snail and mail. I just assume if I give them half of what I make, that's probably enough. That's probably and fine. I let them figure out the details. Yeah, they take half. It's it's fair anyway. We're all in the same country, right? <laughs> Uh, so anyway, you have you have a few apps Please to consider. Please come up with a better idea for me. TurboTax, Page Once, My Tax Return, My Tax Refund, My Tax Refund. Pardon and, me. And something about tax info you couldn't care less about. And all are free, so you have some options. 
I'm not going to let you bring me down, Mr. Rain Clouds. <laughs> Little Miss Sunshine has taken over the show. Thank you, sir. Uh, if you want the links to the apps that we mentioned, you know where to go, but I'll tell you again. Twit.tv slash IPT is where you can watch our past episodes, subscribe to future episodes. You can subscribe through iTunes. You can watch straight from Twit.tv. Whatever. We don't care. We just like to have you here. And a yes, quick reminder you that uh, we record iPad Today live. Right now, but if you're not watching... <laughs> We're on tape. <laughs> yeah. If you're not watching live, then if it's not Thursday at 1.45 p.m. East or Pacific right now, mm -hmm. then you're not watching live, but that's when you can next time. Um, except next week, because we're actually going to be yeah, shooting so a don't. special show at South by Southwest over the weekend that'll run next week. But that's neither here nor there. Don't worry about it. Just subscribe, and then you don't have to worry about it at all. Uh, also, we love your ideas. Thank you so much for all of your feedback that you give us each week. It is a delight and a joy to read your emails, even when I'm feeling under the weather, which I am right now. Shoot us an email at iPad today at twit.tv. Oh, and a quick note. Mm -hmm. uh, we got a lot of folks saying, heads up, there's something wrong with episode 35. It was truncated in the uh, small version. It was truncated version. in the small feed in yeah. iTunes, and we fixed it. So if you're one of those people who were like, this sucks, I want to watch this on my iPod Touch, and I can't because you're using the small feed, uh, it should be fixed now. So if you just re-download, you'd yeah. be good to go. And terribly sorry. It was just a screw-up. Just one of those you things. You know, it's actually my fault. It is. I Actually, I don't know why it is uh, your fault. No, it's my fault. Everything's my fault. Okay. Well... Thanks for nothing. Uh, it, 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 we fixed it. We it. changed our credentials on the... I, I think we changed our credentials on YouTube and it confused the uh, the script. Uh, or something I like that. I don't something know exactly like that. Happened, But something bad. Well, in any case, the nice people at Mediafly they seem to have it. ironed they it out. It. So we don't expect problems like that in the futuro. Oh, don't say that, Sarah Lee. And el futuro. Oh, we don't expect. I didn't say we promise. Oh, don't say that. We don't foresee It'll future problems. It'll never problemos. happen again. So we are futuro. tomorrow getting on an airplane flying in a big old jet airliner all the way to Austin, Texas, big the capital old jet of... Airliner. Yeah. Texas, Texas. And... Uh, we're going to be down there for the iPad 2 launch. I'm actually a little disappointed. I was hoping to wait in line with uh, with um, everybody else. Uh, yeah, so the iPad 2 launch. Wow, a light your just light, went on. Your light just came on. I'm now on. beautiful you and suddenly, lit, appropriately. You look, suddenly look bright. A little Miss Sunshine got a little brighter just now. You were right. The clouds are going away. The See? sun is coming See? out. You are Tax right, Tax time Sarah saves. I better turn on the air conditioner. Seriously, I was just thinking that. Like, woo, it's getting woo. hot in here. Um, you know it comes after. The, never mind. So, Yeah. But iPad 2 launch will be. In, I mean, I got a layer. We'll be, that's just we'll the be one. in Austin, and uh, so will at the Apple Store. Apparently, they're building a special Apple Store. Isn't this the coolest? So a I lot mean, of you. I mean, have... just texted us that that she can see it. The windows are taped up, but she can hear construction going on inside. Yeah. So anybody who hasn't heard this story before, it is so cool. There are two Apple stores in Austin. Barton Creek. There's Barton Creek, and then there's another, another one. Another one. Uh, Far away. There's one at a mall, and then there's kind of one that's more of like the flagship Austin Apple store. Neither of them are close to the conference center downtown. Right. So it's like, hey, everyone's going to be at South By. Um, the iPad 2, uh, pardon me. I know I'm just, I'm full of mucus today. I'm so sorry. Is launching on Friday at 5 p.m., all the geeks are going to be in Austin, and nobody really wants to leave the city center because they're probably five jello shots in. Dur Let's be Dirty honest. little secret about uh, South by Southwest. It's really just a bunch of people from San Francisco who have decided to go to Austin for the weekend. I to see party. people in Austin once a year that I never see that live like four blocks away yeah. from me. It's San Francisco. And we hug each other as if we're old right. friends who live right. worlds apart. Right, but you don't. No. We're all the same. It's all the same it's people. It's very weird, but fun. Anyway, so Apple is building a pop-up store right downtown. That's, wait a minute. That's what they call it? Oh, yeah. A pop-up store? Oh, this is the new thing. You know, like the food truck revolution? Right. Where everything's now a food truck so that they can is be mobile? Is there an mobile. iPad truck? Uh, there's no iPad truck, but the, the sort of hybrid between actual building and food truck is called pop-up shop. Oh. They're doing them in the city now. It's like a quick way to They're just, temporary. They're temporary structures, oh. and it gives businesses a way to kind of try it out and pay mm. less uh, for a monthly lease. Wow. So Apple has a pop-up shop for two weeks, and it opens on Friday. And they're going to be selling iPad 2s out it's of there. It's not that close to South by Southwest. It's uh, in the Scarborough building on Congress, uh, which is downtown. I mean, it's close enough. Well, Congress and what? Congress and I don't know. You're right. Congress goes all the way. Yeah. Almost. It's a 5,000 square foot space. It's Congress and West 6th, so I guess it is. Yeah, that's right there. It's actually there. next to my hotel. Yeah. Well, I'll pop in the pop-up. Lucky you. Apple will be there for two weeks. Black vinyl sheeting, is, uh, as uh, Eileen reported on the windows, but you can hear the hammering right now. 
Uh, that's so cool. I'm really excited. I mean, I know that we're going to go live. You and I won't because we're going to be sitting on an airplane. Well, I know where 6th and Congress is. That is. It's right there. Yeah, it? it's right yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, but uh, Brian Brushwood is going to be live from the from the launch event. I, I mean... And Lisa Bettany. And Lisa Bettany. And uh, okay. Eileen will be there, and she is uh, committed to buying you and me both. Thank you. She hasn't asked twos. me if I wanted a white one yet. I do, because I want to know Eileen, if I need it or not. she wants a white one. And wait yeah. a minute, we've got Beluga. I'll just That's, Beluga her. Well, you could do it after the show. Baby Beluga. <laughs> uh, quick note about a couple Some new snow. apps that may strike your fancy. Um, the first one is VMware View. Have you ever used VMware? I love Virtual VMware. Desktop? Yeah, I use Fusion on the Mac. Yeah. So this so, lets me view uh, Yeah. Uh, my Mac or my PC or your, both? Your Windows desktop. Huh? Yeah, so it's good. You know, enterprise customers... I am not one. I have no uh, connection server to enter into VMware View to see if it works well. But uh, it just launched, oh gosh, was it yesterday? And if you look at the reviews in the App Store on iTunes, people are really happy with it and say that it works well. So if you are a VMware user slash customer, your company's thinking about it. If you have an iPad, it is a secure and very simple way to remote into your Windows machine. They also have, as far as I am aware, <laughs> your message to Eileen is showing up on my yeah, screen I just, because I just we're all her in the same blue Sarah group. wants white. By Sarah the way, here's white. a picture of the uh, of the uh, Congress uh, pop Oh, I knew story. that building. Yeah, it's right there. I wonder what was down there before. Nothing? It's weird. Uh, maybe yeah, it's maybe it's just a garage. Yeah. Maybe they cleared out the carport. So like I'll that. share that photo on Facebook so all my Facebook friends can see it. Please do. You know, not only is VMware doing that, but our good friends at uh, Citrix have made a Go to My PC iPad app. Same thing. So if you cool. use Go to My PC on Windows or Mac, free app for the iPad. I think it's so cool to run a computer from your iPad. And they've figured out, I guess, how to do the, you know, turn the touch interface into a mouse, how to turn the keyboard into a keyboard. Well, you know what VMware, the view has is a virtual trackpad. Oh, which, cool. you know, with little right and left click mouse buttons. Neato. Now, to me, I'm like, oh, I've been wanting to get away from that. For You know, that's not well, something that I would it, like. Though. You need to solve that. But, issue. yeah, for some folks, that would be uh, crucial. So, again, VMware, it's out. It's proud. Um, and it's free. The app is, anyway. Um, well, I guess, yeah, there re really wouldn't be any um, anything that you need to buy. Also new that got a lot of attention yesterday is something called Zeit. Yeah, they were Z. saying this is the next Flipboard. They were saying that this is the next Flipboard, but let me show you why it isn't. Okay. Uh, it's not a bad interface. In fact, it's really nice. So uh, what Flipboard does is turn Twitter feeds into a magazine. Right. Well, and, you know, your Google Reader feed. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, magaz magazineifies your Your Facebook stuff. news feed yeah, if yeah. you want to. Um, is that Beluga? Sorry. Zite is just... I'm going to oh, stop I'm, bugging I'm you. sorry. I need to swipe it. Swipe. Swipe the Zite. So here are my top stories uh, from Zite based on some sections that I said, you know, show me fashion, gadgets, Mac, But this technology. isn't Twitter. This is just what they pick in those categories. This is, yeah, these are just categories uh -huh. that have been chosen for me. However, if you go back to my homepage, uh, which is... Hmm. Customize? Well... Shouldn't actually do that, but my customized. So that's page. how you chose the categories, but you could enter in your own stuff. Yeah. Well, you know what I did earlier was here's why, uh, in a nutshell, why Zite isn't Flipboard is that you can link your Twitter or your Google Reader, and okay. that's it. Ah. So it's Flipboard, but it's more. Right. It's there's less. What less Flipboard does is I can say follow uh, Sarah Lane's uh, fashion list on Twitter, and I'll get all sorts of cool stuff. Exactly. So if I link up my Twitter, which I'd already done ahead of time. And it says, suggested based on your Twitter activity, humor. that I'm interested in humor, San Francisco, and cats. I think they picked now, you. Now, Nailed you. Now, that, here's where I think that Zai is missing the point a Nailed little bit, though. You. Is that that might be, in a nutshell, what they're gleaning from what I tweet about. But that's not necessarily what I want to consume. True. It's what so, you put out, not what I you want. I think that the, the categories that you choose on Zai are very important. The categories themselves are pulling up really interesting material. Uh, it's not that I don't like the material. I just think it's it's like Flipboard and... Reminds me of Skyfire a little bit. It's a nice presentation. It's a nice presentation. I like the Flipboard customization. Yeah. There's something um, there's something a little flat about Zite. It's, it, 
it, it's just, it's Flipboard, but Flipboard is better, right. at least in my opinion at this point. Speaking of Flipboard, you just see that they have added Instagram as well now. So I'm going to go to my Flipboard feed and look, there's my Instagram feed. You sign into your Instagram account when you add an account and you'll see pictures from your Instagram friends. Awesome. Yeah, cool. I like that. Now, if you were to to comment on one of these pictures, would Let's you be see. able to do that from within Flipboard? I can thumbs up it. I can like it. Oh, you like can it. like. Nice, yep. nice. Uh, I don't really like it, but I'm going to say I like it. Okay. And uh, Well, I if, like it. She looks like um, Eliza Minnelli in that picture. Yeah. Oh, and you can comment. Yeah. See, you this is really cool. Look like Liza, Liza with a Z. The star is born. Send. There, so now, <laughs> now I'm hitting on her like everyone else. Uh, official cat is going to be like, thank you. Thank you. I Weirdo. I think. Okay. I think. That's great. That, uh, the Instagram integration is. This is one more cool thing. Is really, I mean, this is, so this is Flipboard that we're talking about. See how much nicer But I this think is. is cooler than Zite. Yeah. Again, nothing wrong with Zite. They're brand new. They'll get there. They're just not there yet. I don't know. There's Whoop. Pulse. I like Pulse too. I mean. I yeah. think the Flipboard really is the king of the hill on this one. <laughs> I like that. No. That's no. A funny picture. That's good <laughs> no stuff. means no. Uh, also, that's new, uh, a new update, basically. Flipboard just got an update. Another update that I just wanted to mention really quickly, because I think it'll make people uh, use it more, is this photography app called Diptych that I love I've Diptych. talked about on yeah. the past on the show. Yeah. I have to actually... It it's, just, it only, it's optimized for iPad, but it, it, it wants to go one way. Here's what's cool and new about it. Um, okay, so let's say I choose this, and now I choose my picture. Aha! There are Aha. two new sources. One is select from Facebook. It's kind of hard to see. I think this camera. Oh, so I don't have to out. just do it for my camera. That makes it much more usable on the iPad because yeah. I don't have a camera. So let's yet. say I select from Flickr. Well, we're going to have cameras, but they're not going to be good. I would much rather import we'll from Flickr. We'll talk about that in a second. Yeah, I'd much rather import from Flickr than I would. Uh, uh, want to import from anything I'm going to take on the crappy camera that iPad 2 is going to have. Sorry, iPad 2. That's just the way it goes. That's a good point. Uh, and, of course, we have a short, uh, slow connection in here, as we well, you always get the do. Idea. You don't have to. We understand. It will import photos from Flickr but or Facebook, and then cool. you can make your dip tick. I wanted to show the good people at home. <sighs> you do that while I mention them. iOS 4.3. Oh, there's your Okay. There we go. So, right. okay. So, just really quick. Here are my Flickr photos. You can go full photo stream or a variety of sets that I've already made. So let's say I wanted to go to, you know, take photos from Paris 2010. It would pull up those photos oh, and then neat. I can choose. Oh, and neat. then it... And you can make a diptych. Yeah. And then once you make a diptych, you can send that diptych to something like Flickr or Facebook or email it to a friend or print it out and put a frame on it and uh, be done with it. Anyway, it's really cool. I like uh, what diptych's doing because... You know, it's a really nice app. It works well on the iPad, but how many of us have a plethora of pictures sitting on our iPad? You still have to transfer them from somewhere else. Well, until tomorrow. Go ahead. Well, let's talk about that, I guess. You know, the yeah. camera we're turning at turns out that I think is 960 by 720. It's not a very good camera. It's not, it's not, not even, even a megapixel. It's not even 720. It's 0.7 megapixels. It's not even 720p. Tr to, it's, it's high enough, but not wide enough. So they will have to scale it to make 720p, which means you probably won't get the greatest looking video. That's pretty much how a flip cam works. A lot of cameras, mm -hmm. even some camcorders that claim 720p do the same thing. They have small sensors. But uh, I wish they'd put the iPhone 4 uh, sensor in there. It's such a good camera. It would have been great, it's I a, think, to have The iPhone 4 is, it's not the best camera you can get, certainly. No, but it's but good enough. For a camera phone... It impresses me on the regular, and it's, I'm really bummed, actually, that we're not going to have that kind of caliber camera in iPad 2. I am happy that iOS 4.3 came out before the iPad 2 came out. I put it on my iPhone and my iPad, and just as we thought, there was going to there's a switch to change the side switch to lock rotation mm -hmm. or mute. I like it to be lock rotation, so now when I flip that switch, it locks instead of muting. Yay, hallelujah. Woo! It's, you were you were really into that. I was that. irate. I was irate. You were right. you were yeah. yes. Yeah. You were out of control. Not a lot of changes in four three. Uh, do you notice a big speed improvement in Safari? That's one of the things they claim. I don't right? notice anything in Safari. I mean, yeah. I yeah. I, no, I no, don't. No, me uh, but that's okay because I really didn't have that's a big problem enough. with Safari to begin with. Right. So I'm I'm happy about it. Um, it was fine. Uh, also, improvements to AirPlay. That I'm excited about. I haven't played with that much, but the idea that I can share content from anywhere in my house to my iPad yeah. means that that iPad now is a TV device I can carry around the house, which is You fantastic. can also um, send anything on the iPad to, to an the Apple TV. TV. Yeah. 
um, we yesterday we were playing around uh, with 4.3 because we we've got all the Apple stuff at the house, and you know it was just kind of funny to be scrolling through a Twitter feed and looking at it on the big TV, and it looked really nice. So AirPlay, I mean, imagine the possibilities. You've got a movie on your iPad, and you go over to Leo's house, and you're like, oh, hey, I've got this movie. Let's just, you yeah, know. isn't that neat? Touch AirPlay, and it'll stream pretty seamlessly. Yeah. Uh, it works out really well. So 4.3 is cool. I wish you could share apps, though. I mean, I wish I could have Angry Birds on the iPad and put that on the TV. I guess I can with the HDMI cable, but that's the only way to do it. Uh, you know what you can do? You can bump apps using the Bump app. I can bump Angry Birds right. to you. That's neat. But yeah, it's not this. It's not really it's what not you're saying. It. No, <laughs> I'm just but, sharing. But thanks it. anyway for sharing that. You're welcome. Fascinating. Yeah, it's good non, stuff. Non sequitur there, right there. Uh, yeah. Well, I I aim to please. You know, you got to keep the people on their toes, or they'll stop listening. <laughs> we have a picture from Alan in Virginia, one of our iPad Today stars of the week. Yes, Alan from Virginia says, I enjoy your pet segments on iPad Today, but I think some species are underrepresented. Krusty the Kayik is how he he has nicely spelled it phonetically for me. Is a parrot native to Brazil in the surrounding area. <laughs> Look at, you can see his little black tongue. She, well, it's a she. she. She's very curious and competes for ah. my attention when I'm watching your show. So, Krusty's ah. a little jealous. Ah. I can't leave her alone or she would eat my Zugu case. So, that's a Zugu Looks like case. she's trying to eat your Zugu Krusty case. Krusty right the Kayik. Ah. Oh, she's so cute. I love birds. That's Look at Krusty. Yeah. Krusty's like, pay attention to me. Yeah. To me. Yeah. At first I was like, why do I have that maniacal smile? But I realized that he paused it. Alan paused it for the photo shoot. So oh, I'm not yes. actually smiling like oh, that long. Oh, I just, get it. It's a moment in time. It's a kayak moment. A uh, kayak moment. So, Krusty, your iPad Star of the Week. Congratulations. Uh, and don't be jealous. We're, you know, there's room we're, for everybody. We're a different species. Yeah, we are. Uh, so we're it's not, okay. We're not going to take your bird uh, throne no. anytime soon. Mm -mm. Uh, but we also have uh, human viewers, not just birds or cats or dogs or alligators. Uh, Joel has a tip actually for us recently on a recent show. I'm not sure if you were on the show or if you were on vacation, but I was, I was, um, complaining for lack of a more interesting word about how the, um, you don't the, lack the more interesting word. You just don't want to say it. I, yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, the headphones, the Apple headphones that come with, you know, I, iPhones and this and that, they're fine. But I have, a, you know, you can upgrade to better inner ear headphones or sports headphones, all sorts of headphones. I actually use that, the, plant, the Etymotix uh, headphones that go right in your ear, and I love them. They have a little microphone for my iPhone. They yeah. work fine on the iPad as well, and they're but great. But do, do they have a wire that you they have to have plug in? They have a wire. In? So that is my main problem is that I hate wires because inevitably they, get, you know, I put them in my jacket pocket, right. and then there's a... There's, they tangle. They tangle, and it's it drives me crazy. Anyway, Joel said... Hey, Sarah recently said earbuds were the bane of her existence. Couldn't agree more, and I've got a solution, and it is Bluetooth. He particularly likes this uh, Plantronics headset. He the says... The Backbeat, 903. Yeah, so uh, how That's much are these things? These, these are yeah, 100 bucks. 100 bucks, but you know, these remind me a little bit. Uh, Motorola also makes the rockers. They're over-the-ear headphones. Uh -huh. They have a little thing in the back of your head. Uh, they, if you've looked, if you use the big Plantronics Pro uh, Bluetooth, they look just like that. Only there's two of them. It's a stereo. Yeah. And uh, that'll give you um, stereo sound without any wires. He does say, uh, in all honesty, sound quality's fine. If you are a real audiophile, uh, the signal drops out every now and then. So you don't want that. I mean, if I'm listening to Pandora and there's a little flicker here and there, that's okay. But you know if I'm on the got, phone, you, it's not. Do you remember the old Sony Walkman when you could press a button so that you would be able to hear what was going on? If you When they first came out with the Walkman, they thought people were going to walk into the street or that people would talk to you and you'd go, huh? Which, of course, everybody does do. Yeah. So the original Walkman had a button that you could talk to the person. These have that. I don't understand. A, it's called a open Walkman mic. that plays tape, cassette yeah. tapes? Yeah, the cassette Walkman. But who are you talking to? Well, if somebody wanted to talk to you, they'd push this button on there. What, uh, the this pause the same, button? N no. You tap <laughs> the open mic button and you can hear your surroundings. Uh, so it's like taking the headphones off? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but you don't have to. Weird. Well, I, you know what I think this is? The mute button? Because these are basically, obviously, a repurposing of the Plantronics Bluetooth Headphones. They had a mic, so they thought, well, what can we do with it? Oh, I know. You turn them on, and then you can hear your surroundings. Yeah, I guess so. I know. It happens to me all the time. We have to rip 
the earbud out of my ear because I'm at the gym and somebody wants to talk to me. I'm like, oh, God, don't talk to me. I She's coming in... up to me. Oh, God. <laughs> yes, whatever. Okay. What I do when I think someone's going to talk to me is I don't take the earphones out of my ear and then I sort of look in the opposite direction. <laughs> I, I close my eyes. And I figure that the person might say, hey, Sarah, hey, Sarah, or excuse me, and then just figure out she can't hear me and walk away. 50% oh, of the time it works. That explains it. Because every time I see you and I do that, you just ignore me. Oh, my gosh. If I if anyone knew how much of a lie that was, uh, they would laugh. And they would laugh heartily. So, Joel, thank you for the tip. That's a good if, one. If um, I'm not convinced that Bluetooth, if the audio cuts out, if anyone else has experience. I, you know, I think it depends. It doesn't cut out if you're if you're close to it. Yeah. I've, I've, had it, I've used uh, Bluetooth headphones with the iPad and the iPhone. But how, I mean, because sometimes I put my iPad well, on the, you know, you the get, bike. You get up to 30 feet, it'd be fine at the bike. Yeah. Well, all right. Cool. So, if, you, if, if anyone has a cool headset that I does not like have these. any wires. I think you'd like these. Okay. Can I buy them for you and you do give us a test? Yes. Yes. Okay. You'll review them. Okay. That worked well. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, we have a video from Lynn Moore. She's from Potomac, Maryland. And she's gorgeous. Isn't she? Yeah. I said the same thing. Hi, Sarah and Leo. I have my white iPad already. What? Isn't that great? No. Actually, I think I'm over white. Um, I was thinking it was really going to be great, but you know, I think that some of my apps are off-white, backgrounds, light gray. It might be a little distracting. And also, even watching a movie, I think, might be a little distracting. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, actually, I'm more concerned about, we're gonna, I'm going to be a two-iPad family. And oh, dear. my um, under-one iTunes account. Some of my apps, like Instapaper and uh, Evernote, will be fine. But Goodreader, which I have heavily uh, populated, I'm not sure that those files are going to transfer. I, am I going to have to, to um, repopulate that, that app? And what about Angry Birds? <laughs> I hope I don't have to lose my status. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes, you will. <laughs> oh, Lynn. Oh, she, I feel so bad. She's for got. Her. A, she's got concerns. The first thing I love, Lynn's. She she basically did a cardboard cutout of a white. Well, I hope frame. you're paying attention because you just ordered a white iPad, and I agree with her. I don't you want a black uh, frame on your iPad? Well, I want a white one because I want. You want to be different. Well, I don't think you I'm going to be that different. You don't I want think MG a lot of to take are, your uh, iPad from you. I think a lot of people are going to get white Has iPads. Is there an iPad confusion in, in the home? iPad confusion. Well, we have had an iPad 2 in our home for the last week or so. I couldn't tell you. you can you tell me now? Yeah, yeah. His review is out. So there's been a lot of resentment on my part. Because could you I touch it? Were you allowed to see uh, it? I could touch it. So what do you think? Give us a review. You can do the Sarah Lane iPad 2 review. Well, I love it. And I think that the coolest thing is that smart cover. Smart cover is like alive. I can't believe you buried the lead like this. Uh, well, we, we you let us do four crappy tax apps, and you've had an iPad two in your house for a week and not told me. Well, I wanted it to be a surprise. <laughs> well, I'm surprised. I wasn't really. I'm taking to... back those headphones. I... <laughs> <laughs> Give me my plan, <laughs> You promise. Wow, that's cool. So that's great. So yeah, yeah, MG cool. Siegler and every other gosh darn journalist in the world except me has not, had an that's iPad That's not true. For there were really a, only a small group of people. Yeah, you saw them all. David Pogue, Walt Marsberg, Ed Begg, and MG John Siegler. Gruber. John Gruber. Nick Gruber, Bilton. of course, because he's a suck up. Nick Bilton, uh, New York Times, okay. Yeah. So you, Do you, you know that, in fact, that I speak to more people each week who use Macintoshes than any of them, in fact, than all of them combined? You do know that, right? Uh, well, that's because you're better. No, because I have the Tech Guy Show, which has a million listeners, and I do Mac Break Weekly, which has 125,000 listeners. Sounds like every better to single me. week. Sounds like better to How me. How many readers does MG have? Two. I'm one of them. <laughs> Pissed. I'm just kidding. No, the, the iPad <laughs> 2, listen, there's, there's really no reason to go into I'm it. I'm not going to review it. I'm going to pretend it doesn't exist. We don't have fact, anything stop to doing show, this show you. So Welcome just... to Android Today. Okay, here's where we get bitter. I'm bitter. Let's talk more about what uh, some of the questions that Lynn addressed, shall we? So you did, you did or you did not like the cover? Loved it. Okay. It's alive. It's a smart cover that lives and breathes. Sort of. Good, because Apple's making $29 profit on it. Uh, unless you get the leather and then it's $70. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. And the leather one's really nice. Listen, okay. I don't know. I, I okay. speak how I see. No, if it works, it works. It's probably worth 39 bucks, even well, though it's... We're, well, I mean, we're, on, on Saturday, we'll, with we'll, we'll, we'll have them no, in I'm our gonna buy hands. It. I'm going to buy it. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's really cool. Anyway, Lynn, it, she, it, it was. I thought that it was, a, it was a good thing that she did because she cut out a white frame, put it on her iPad, and then was like, you know, I'm launching certain apps... Something I hadn't even thought about. I thought, ooh, is it going to be distracting with movies? Well, look at your frame right now because you've got these settings up. It's white and it yeah, would then be is, white. This is the Goodreader app. Do you like that? Well, I like having the black around it. Yeah. But I've never really thought about it till now. Well, it's you, just a did nice MG contrast. have a white one or a black one? Black. Oh, well, so you don't know yet? No, no, no. I don't know. I Yeah, I, I have, I've never seen a white iPad. Just, you know, on the Generally, computer. Generally, when like you're looking else. at photos or you're looking at movies, you don't want to, uh, uh, what you'd really like is 50% gray. You'd like a neutral frame, mm -hmm. not a white frame. And black would be the next best thing, I guess, right. the neutral. But even, remember the HGTVs? They were all silver for a while, and now that's not it was in vogue horrible. anymore. Remember how bad too, that was? They were distracting. Yeah. I was, the other day certain... I was watching a Samsung TV, and they have a glowing lit Samsung logo on the bottom of the bezel. Oh, that just pisses me off. Yeah, I don't think we, they should do that. We have that at our house. It's terrible. Well, you stop seeing it Do you after tape while. it over? Tape it over. Well, that'll look weird. I'm not mm -hmm. going to put tape on my television. I just television. think that it's wrong that the Samsung logo should be as bright as the movie. I think watching. I think that the um I think the logos can be really obnoxious. I really agree with oh, you. And that's not the chat just room Samsung says, either. Chat room says you can power off the logo if you dig oh, cool. deep enough in the settings. So now huh. you've learned something. Hey, that will go home and do just that because yeah, I, I don't like it either. Yep. Um, so another thing is that, you know, imagine an app that has, you know, I think like Epicurious has an off-white background because it's kind of supposed to look like a right. cookbook. How's that That'll look, look on crappy there? with yeah. a white, you know, the off-white and but the you white. you just ordered a white. Should I take it no, back? No, I want. I still want it. Okay, because okay. I told, I told, I beluga. There's going to be an iPad 3 in like a few months, so. No, there is not. How do you know? Did MG tell you that? No. Because he has he really apparently didn't. a very good relationship with Apple. No, no, no. He really didn't. That's just, I mean, that's a rumor. I'm not starting this rumor. I don't think it's true. Well, there's going to be an true. iPad 3 eventually. And if I hate the white iPad, I can deal Next with it until year. I get another one. Next year. Right? Next year. Uh, Lynn also brought up the point that she is worried. Yes. She gets a new iPad. Yes. She's got all this data on her, uh, on her iPad Generation 1. Is all of that going to transfer over? Now, as Lynn, as you pointed out, Instapaper... It doesn't really matter because everything's in the cloud anyway. Nothing's actually stored on your on your first gen. But Goodreader which stores we, it on the iPad. Yeah, I mean, so Goodreader is you know it's basically so here's a the deal. document app. You know that when you use Goodreader, uh, you can sync the documents off of it. Yes. In iTunes. Yes. And if you do that, you will be able to sync them back onto the other iPad. You can also sync via Dropbox. Okay. That is a new feature of Goodreader or right. MobileMe if there you have you a MobileMe account. So you can move. And a variety of other ways. So if you're in Goodreader, you can move a document that's uh, being viewed one way into the Dropbox? Yes. Oh, that's great. Yes. You can sync uh, to and from. Oh, that's great. Uh, yeah. So, whoa. Oh, this is uh, just a picture. Yeah, yeah. I scared you. It's like, like suddenly Yobango is running. Yobango. Right. Oh, boy, Leo. Is that not Lord. how you say it? Yo bongo? Yo bongo. Like bongo drums? Yo. Like bongo. Santana's bongo I player? That. I that. Okay. Thank you, Lynn, for raising those interesting questions. You know, we, yeah. aren't, we aren't absolutely sure about how the white will look. <laughs> Sarah's getting one, so she'll give you a report next week. It's going to be great. And uh, I will go home and make sure that the... I have moved stuff around from iPad to iPad, because I originally got a Wi-Fi and went to 3G, and I didn't have any difficulty, so... Did you say to Lynn that her Angry Birds score will not transfer? It will not. How is that possible? There's well, no, there's, sorry. She doesn't have an Angry Birds user pass that the company is storing that would remember her. Well, Game Center remembers achievements. Uh huh. Well, so that's an interesting if you have a question. Game Center account. Sa okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you're saying Angry Birds is Game Center, so maybe it will save your score. I actually don't think Angry Birds. Uh, Chat room? It's any game idea? Friendly. Generally speaking, I would say yes. There's there's two answers to this SOL? question. No, there's two answers to this question. Okay. If you do a backup, uh huh. In other words, you back up your 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 iPad and then restore onto the new iPad. Everything is going to be exactly the same on the new iPad as it was on the old iPad. If you don't do that, if you don't want the two to be identical, see, this is what I was confused about. Is she giving this to her husband, or is this? Are they both for her? Uh, for her. Okay, then just back up. Then you don't have to worry. Back up. You know when you have the first time you, whenever yes. you sync, it says I'm backing up. Yes. Take those back up and restore it onto the new iPad, and you'll be fine. Yeah, it's, it's everything like, will be preserved. I just did this with an iPhone. And I misunderstood. Seamless. I thought she wanted kind of two iPads, 
different setups on both iPads. But in that case, would the Angry Birds come over? And that, I'm thinking, saved games would not. Uh, but on the backup, room are they saying will. It's game center friendly. But yeah, the problem with having two iPads that are associated with the same Apple ID or iTunes account, I actually have this problem right now because I have a personal account and then I have my Sarah Twit account that I associate with my iPad. But I only have one laptop that my phone and my iPad are both going into. Ah. It's a huge nightmare. Never do that. Macworld Magazine to the rescue. Chris Breen, of course, the Mac Daddy with his Mac 911 column, says not only can you save your Angry Birds saved game data and move it from one iOS device to another, but you can move it to your Mac app version of the game and vice versa. Lynn. Good news. Your day is saved. You want to know how? You will still be an Angry Birds champ. How? Connect the iPad with the saved game data you want to your Mac. Launch Phone View. Select apps in Phone View's data pad pane. Phone, phone View is a third party application. Enable the show all apps option. And select Angry Birds and select the documents entry. Drag the high scores.lua file to your Mac's desktop to make a copy. Unplug the first iPad and jack in the second. Follow steps three for five. And then drag the high scores.lua file that you copy the desktop to the Angry Birds documents directory in Phone View. Select the option. Replace the high scores file that currently resides on the iPad and you are done. Um, Wasn't that easy? Not very intuitive, but if you follow the directions <laughs> and they work, Mac okay. Daddy. You know, Phone View is a, a, a paid app, a third-party app that lets you view data on the iPad. And in a way, this is the answer we gave initially, which is not, you can't normally save that. That data does not normally get copied over. But when yeah. you use this special app from Ecamm that lets you copy the data over, so it's only 20 bucks. So that's the key. You need to be able to access the data from the Or just start iOS playing device. World of Goo. It's more fun anyway. <laughs> I-M-H-O. M-H-O? Okay. M-H-O? In my humble opinion. Okay, thank you. Yes. Uh, reminder that we want to hear from you. We love seeing you. We love getting your emails and, of course, your voicemails. Little note on the voicemails. We got a bunch of them last week, but they were all kind of long. Try to keep them to 30 seconds or less because that works with the show format really well. Thank you in advance. Uh, iPad Today at Twit.tv is our email address. Voicemail, if you don't have it memorized already, 757-504-IPAD or 4723. Or for extra points, send us a video like Lynn did. Lynn, you're so pretty. My goodness. Gorgeous woman. Gorgeous. She's just got those that bone structure or something. And she's rocking the gray. I love people who can rock gray. You rock gray. I'm too timid, too. I'm also... You're not gray. Oh, yeah. I've you're got 31 years I old. I die. I die. I die. <laughs> no, I mean, I die I die some some gray that's oh, coming oh, in. Oh, you have one or two hair. No, no. No, no, no. I'm prematurely gray. Go it's gray. True. Go gray. It's I don't hot. want to. It's hot. I'm afraid. Then you'll be an old I, I lack lady. the confidence to rock the gray. Rock the gray. Well, I'll think about it. This uh, Coming up in just a bit, our app caps. We've got two really, really good applications uh, for you, our app picks of the week. Before we do that, let's mention our friends at squarespace.com, the secret behind exceptional websites. If you are ready to make your own website or perhaps you have a friend who doesn't have a website really otter, go to squarespace.com slash iPad today today. No, that was confusing. The code is squarespace.com slash iPad today. Yeah. Do it today. It's the URL. It's a simple one. Yeah. Then you'll click that green button. You'll put your site name in, your password, your email address. The hardest thing is to think of the site name. The, uh, little simple capture they have here and now you've got a space all your own for 14 days you can do anything you want with because all the tools are available to you this isn't some stripped down thing this is the full square space including those great designer templates the styling using ajax the intuitive form editing the social widgets you can even fully import your existing website from any site that supports movable type WordPress, TypePad, or Blogger APIs. By the way, notice this little recycle I icon. I do. What is that? It is both in and out, which means you are never trapped at Squarespace. Your data is always accessible if you should decide <laughs> that you need to move away. Well, you know why Squarespace does that in part? Because they're confident that you won't need to move away. They're like, hey, leave if you want to, but nobody does. Nobody does. Because it's a great service. Sarah Lane, Word. That's the name of your site. <laughs> Word to your mother. Word to your mother. <laughs> is it SarahLane.com? Yeah. That's a Squarespace site, right? It sure is. Yeah, they um, they helped me design it, so it's kind of a good example of look one of that. these custom designs that's really pretty and doesn't look like anything else you've ever seen. That's kind of my landing page, and then you can click into my blog. 
<laughs> my last blog post was in December. Kind of embarrassing. It's kind of like my blog, but you know that's what's a beautiful thing about these by widgets. By the way, this is a diptych that I took that oh, that's I meant cool. to show from you France. earlier. Yeah, from France. Isn't that cute? Oh, yeah, that's my that you know my one of my latest Flickr pictures. On the that I actually made with Sano diptych. On you, Sano and Mama. That actually is the MG in the snow. Is I know Yale I recognize Yale Saint Louis, yeah. and I recognize Montmartre. Yeah, it's tough. So because you know I am Parisian. Uh, Squarespace is a great place to get your first website, or if you have friends who don't have one, please today have them go to squarespace.com, sign up for the free trial, and see if they like it. If they decide to buy $12 a month, that's all it is. It's not expensive. It really is fantastic. Squarespace.com slash iPad today. Try it free for 14 days. Then you'll love it. You'll know what a great website is all about. Um, did it's you, time. Well, you better get your cap. All right, you better get I'm yours. I'm going to get my cap. Okay. Right. Take a break, everybody. Take two. Cap time. Oh, it's so hard oh, to decide. This what, didn't work out well. What cap to wear? I believe oh, I will go. That's my Machu Picchu hat. I'm going to go on a Peruvian safari today. And you know, this actually works kind of well. It's cute on you. Thank you. It matches your outfit. Uh, well... That's um It's really cute. You, you should you should I you should know, give I wore you this that. I shirt today because I thought it looked kind of country since we're going She's to Austin tomorrow. I'm going to go rock and roll. A little bit rock and roll. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's what I would call rock and roll. <laughs> Why not? Maybe like a fish concert, <laughs> you know? But you're very jam band right now. You are very jam band. It's good, really good luck. Work. It's good luck it for you. It didn't work out quite like I thought. Thanks to the uh, the uh, amazing uh, cat who is a wonderful knitter. They have some shamans in Peru, do they not? Oh, I'm sure they do. Peruvian shamans. In fact, there's some evidence that Machu Picchu was, in fact, a holy or religious site. Ah, then this is the app for you for so many reasons. It's called Nature Space. It's a free app, and it has some free... Um, it, basically, it's like background audio sounds, you know, okay. ocean or okay. or. Because um, yeah, we showed you that white noise uh, the other day, but this is uh, this is something. This is pretty. Yeah. So let me just show you all of the. Okay. So this is like everything that you have to choose from. So you've got you know avian dawn or daybreak songbirds or deep autumn flight. But I don't want to to go through any of that because no. I've got something better. Of course you don't. For uh, example, yes. Boudoir of the Hive Queen. <laughs> what the hell? It's a sci-fi section that Nature Space has. Turn up your sound. I want to hear oh, this. Is it, is it up? up? It's kind of up. Oh, wow. So this is... Okay, so I actually talked to these guys over at Nature Space because they had pinged me and they said, oh, we got this app. And I went, well, you know, it's okay. Ocean sounds, nothing new. They said, no, actually, we... We we you either know? go to these places and record the audio so it's got this oh, whole really you know kind audio. of like yeah. yeah like five point surround right. sound type right. thing or we recreate the sounds ourselves for example this is um this is holographic in, audio interrogation room let's, let's oh yeah that makes that. me sleep well well this isn't for sleeping this is for meditating in fact they don't um, suggest that you go to sleep with some of these sounds because you might have it a could dream. interfere with your mental state. Yeah. Yeah, this is hardcore stuff. I like this. This is um, uh, uh, John Bueller. He says, Bueller? so for example, like this. Bueller? Bueller? Rather than, he, he wrote me and said, rather than relying on, you know, like a pan knob to determine what, where a sound would appear in the stereo image, we actually hang big expensive speakers on pulleys and booms and jibs in large abandoned warehouses and cathedrals. So they actually make this sound very organically, even though they're using some synthetic material. Now, here's where the shamanistic stuff comes in, because they have oh, it's really beautiful. some audio called beautiful. peyote. Uh, not necessarily associated with Peru, but I think some shamans are. But this one is really cool. They, 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 they made this music themselves. <laughs> Look like a Came guy at a fish a concert plane. who spent too much time with a shaman. In then now, the buffalo isn't it great? I love this. Across. Now, what they do is it's not just like, oh, this is some random sound. They actually have track info. So if I just go ahead and expand the track info area, it tells me a little bit about the rhythms of the invisible shaman, the whispers of the sorcerer, the trance. Fertility is given to those who engage in the spirit world. Blah, 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 blah. And at the end, it has a nice warning here. Not recommended for people who are easily frightened. Leo, show my app. Get out of your trance. <laughs> show my app. 
All right, so see. I'm me. easily frightened. Well, I don't think you're frightened. I think Wait, is this a scary one? Show me the scary one. This is this is, is this the, the scary one? one. I should be scared now. Well, not like it's not like a ghost story, but it's like uh, it can maybe get a little creepy if you're not into that shamanistic type thing. But you know, I guess I don't know why I worried about him. Leo, he can just do pretty much anything. So again, I love it, man. If you go to all of the apps to, or uh, all of the sounds to choose from, we've got thunderstorms, we've got rivers, we've got abstract. That's where I found peyote, the Sedona Triangle, Zen wind. So there's a lot of these. Astral prem premonition. How many are there? Uh, I, oh, I don't know, a hundred, something like that. Something. I'm turning this off right now because you can't be a grown up. Oh, we're, we're I can putting, be a grown-up. You can't stop pause. it. <laughs> no, I can, so I can stop it. It actually works like Pandora, so it, it runs through your... Um, oh, that's neat. So it goes in the background. Yeah, it goes in the background, and you, you know you can use your play and pause. Uh, something about this is that some of the sounds, which will loop, by the way, so it's it's yeah. it's not like, you know, once you play, you play it until you don't want to play it anymore. Some of them are free. Most of them are not, and they range from 99 cents to Oh, you have to, to buy the sounds? Depending on what you want, yeah. They're also oh, really big Did you big buy a files. bunch of sounds? Well... They gave them to you. Yes. And you also got an iPad too? <laughs> I don't have an iPad too. First of all, it wasn't mine. Second of all, it was a review. Is he going to give it back? Oh, yeah. Okay. He has to. He could give it to me. Apple isn't like, they don't like give things away to people. No, actually they do. Well, not to him. Yeah, I don't think Walt's given his back. Mm, well, maybe not Walt. I think everybody else kind of. No, I actually really like this. I think this is really It's sweet. great. Yeah, I like I it. Really, I, I, li I mean, this is like... One I'm a little disappointed that you have to spend up dot bucks. Can you do a preview on, on this? Yeah. Side? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah. you kind of know what you're going to get if you spend a buck 99 on it. Exactly. Okay. I, I think that the way that they can justify this is that, again, this is stuff that they're making from they're scratch. They're going into caves with chains. <laughs> they are. This is not <laughs> easy. They're going into old abandoned churches this and banging is, some yeah, drums, no. things like that. So this is how they're making their money. But I thought that these guys have a really cool approach. I love that they're they're making music, and they're, they're kind of wacky. They're kind of out there on some of their sounds. So kudos to you guys. Again, free app, and many of the sounds are free from within. Okay, pass me the Dutchie, and I'll plug it in here. On the left-hand side. Because mine makes sounds, too. Uh-huh. And there are caves in mine, mm -hmm. and bats, and all sorts of things. This is National That's Geographic awesome. just released that this week. Ooh. Yes. It is. I am so excited by this. It's so beautiful. If you love photography, it's their 50 best photos from National Geographic. It is ad sponsored. In fact, you do get Canon ads, which I'm not crazy about. Um, but the pictures are so stunning. Of course, you've, you've all seen the famous picture of the Afghan girl. Of course. Have you seen the follow up picture yeah, of her when they, they did found a whole article. her? Yeah. And she was just like she had no idea that it was yeah, any phenomenon. She was famous. Yeah. And she was kinda she kinda had a sad story. You know, she was yeah. just sort of this anyway, yes, this is a beautiful picture. Well, but here's what's neat about this. You get the whole story behind the photograph. Oh cool. How he took it. You get a movie in many cases of them doing the picture which i really love yeah because they do a lot of behind the scenes there she is video. remember this is her this yeah. is the later article about her so you also get access to the information oh this is exactly what i was talking about it's that's incredible. so awesome it's incredible a photographer bio and in some cases you even get the strip of pictures around it so you can see the selection <gasps> process oh, the look at jane goodall in the gorilla hand isn't that amazing? Yeah, it is. What what is really educational here is when you when you find out how long and how difficult it took was to take the picture. In some cases, they prepared for years to take these pictures. They knew what they were going for. You really realize that the serendipity that you and I expect in our photography just doesn't happen with these pros. They know what they're doing. They're planning. Jojo. Aww. Isn't this great? I mean, so I have to say, cute. this app is so inspiring. It just goes to show you the photography apps, they always end up shining the, the brightest on iPad. Oh. Well, that, really look how do. good that looks on that on that 1024 so by 768. Every bit is as, as good as, or maybe even better than it might have looked in the National Geographic itself. Uh -huh. And then it's really fun to, to, to learn about these photos. For instance, this photo, it's a fascinating story. I said everything was planned. This one wasn't. The photographer wanted to get a picture of a polar bear, but he's a nature photographer, underwater photographer, and he doesn't stage his photos. He said, how am I going to get a polar bear swimming underwater? Mm -hmm. Well, it turned out a polar bear was marauding in the village, 
And they chased it, and he said, this is a chance. So he ran to the water, knowing that they chased the polar bear into the water, stuck his camera down from the boat, not knowing what he was going to get, shot a bunch of pictures, and got this one. That's a reflection of the polar bear on the surface of the water. Oh, my god! One of the most amazing photos I have ever seen. And it was just luck. Serendipity. Well, Here's not another. luck, because he's obviously very talented. Well, again, but... yeah, planning and, uh, yeah. and preparation lead to luck. This, guy, this is another photo from the same shoot, an amazing uh, photograph. So the stories behind them, these beautiful pictures, and some of them are more planned than you might even know. Let me see if I can go back a few. Look at this one. This is in Ibiza, Spain. Oh, my. At 4 a.m. in the nightclub. Oh, it's one of those foam parties. They I've been to one of those foam. in Cancun I'd once. I'd love to go to this. It was weird. He, he, could, he tried taking Gets in it. every crevice. He would go every night, try to take it at 4 a.m. in the floor level. Couldn't get a good shot. So he actually climbed up into the rigging among the lights to get this shot. I mean, wow. it, 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 the stories awesome. behind these are mind-boggling and, uh, I mean, just gorgeous photos. So four ninety nine. it's not free, and it is ad-supported. In fact, as you scroll through it, we'll get to it. Yep, here's the ad. Mm -hmm. You're going to get an ad, unfortunately, for Canon, and it self-plays, you know. Stop. Yeah. Go away. Yeah. I don't want no. that picture. It won't let you? Yeah, it will, but yeah, it's not it easy. But so, it's kind of unintuitive. It's a little annoying. That is annoying, especially if the app isn't free. Right. Uh, but I paid five bucks. You're so still impressed by it, so that's Titanic. good. You know, National Geographic has um, has a couple other great apps. The National Geographic Atlas. You can actually talked, get all the National the Geographics too, which is amazing. Amazing. Yeah. I mean, the, those stuff. Those are you know, they're not just for the doctor's office people. They're really cool. This Atlas app that they uh, we talked about in the past. You've is, shown that. Is yeah, neat as well. Really cool, yeah. yeah. It's, you know, it's sort of more map geographic right. stuff, but. It gives you a sense of what the Sahara from that picture that we just saw might look like from space. But yeah, it's um, National Geographic. The 50 Greatest Photographs of National Geographic. That's the longest app that we've ever said. <laughs> That's longest a long title. name. Yeah. yeah, the longest title. Uh, and unfortunately, there's only 50 pictures in here, and you know you probably will go through it in a day or two. So in some ways, it's the shortest app you'll ever use. But you kind of can think of it as a National Ge Geographic special that you'd see on the newsstand. That you go, oh, yeah. I want, I want to, you know, take this on the plane with me and read about it. One more picture, since you're wearing that hat that I got yeah. at Machu Picchu, which is the Incan ruins at 11,000 feet in Peru that are very hard to get to. There's a picture in this app of. The Machu Picchu ruins taken by the man who discovered them in Ooh. 1912, Hiram Bigham. The first picture of Machu Picchu to You're come kidding. back. So I actually have a picture that's from the same vantage point. looks very similar, and I would love to take that picture and this picture and put them together. It's just, it's just fascinating. You could do like an HGR type weird thing. Yeah. That would be cool. Yeah. Wow. Fun app. Good stuff. Fun Those show. are app caps. That's it. We're done. We're done for the day, but we thank you so much. We're headed to South by Southwest. Our next we show are. will come to you from Austin, Texas. That's true. Are we going to have any iPad content, or are we just going to be in Texas? Well, we're going to have our iPad 2s. Okay. We're going to talk about the new iMovie, uh, which cannot and play the on the original garage iPad. Band, and I will play music new for you. New Garage Band. Because they promised you don't have to know how to play an instrument, and I don't. And I don't either. So there you yeah, go. Yeah, it's almost like it's like Guitar Hero or something. We could something. do a band. We will be a traveling band, yeah. South by Southwest. It's perfect. And we'll talk to folks on the street. Mm -hmm. We'll be at parties. It's going to be so fun. Barbecue. And we're going to eat barbecue. I love the cornbread <laughs> and the coleslaw so much. No, I'm serious. That's one of the things I love most about Austin beans. is There's the beans. cornbread. There's and, beans and, and barbecue. Beer. Yeah, but you got to be careful with baked beans because sometimes they uh, put bacon in there. That's right. Anyway, it's I would all best, good. It's I would be bet in a barbecue fun. place there's some bacon in the beans. Yeah. 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 I've, I've learned the hard way. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. On iPad today. Woo!